Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is why use tablet mode? The interface of Windows simplifies itself for touch use. The first thing that you might notice is that your applications, instead of being Windows on the screen, now take up the full screen. In addition to that, some of the elements of the interface, like the taskbar down the bottom, has been simplified for touch. In some of the modern apps that you can download from the Windows Store, like this Maps app that I'm currently using here, you'll notice that we don't have the title bar at the top of the application. The title bar normally has the minimize, maximize, close button in it. And that's been removed so that we can have a cleaner touch interface. So how do we close down an app in tablet mode? Well, we can swipe from the top of the screen all the way to the bottom, or we can do a short swipe from the top to reveal the title bar and press the close button in the corner. Another change with tablet mode, when you close an app down, you'll notice that instead of being back on our desktop, we now end up on the start screen. So the start menu in tablet mode has moved to take up the whole screen and it's now a start screen. Splitting the screen also works a little bit differently in tablet mode. Let's swipe in from the left hand side to bring out the task view. And in the task view, we can take an application that we want to split the screen with and simply drag it to the left or to the right hand side of the screen. And by doing that, you'll see that Windows splits that application to half the screen. And on the other half of the screen, it will show you the task view with any other applications that you currently have open. And you can simply tap on one of those applications to fill the other half of the screen. In tablet mode, we have a nice uh, simple dividing line between the two apps and a grab point in the middle of that dividing line. Put your finger on that grab point and drag it to the left or to the right to have more of one app and less of another, or drag it all the way off the screen to go back to a single app. One of the key advantages to tablet mode is that the keyboard will automatically pop up whenever you click on a typing field. So here in my web browser, for example, when I click on the search box, the keyboard should automatically pop up. If the keyboard doesn't pop up automatically, look for the keyboard, the touch keyboard button down in the bottom right hand side of your screen. So for me, there's really three key things that make tablet mode useful. The first is that the keyboard pops up automatically. The second is it's nice and simple and easy to split the screen and to deal with two applications on the screen at once. And the third is that simplified touch friendly interface. But you really don't have to use tablet mode. You'll find that certain applications don't do very well in tablet mode. So to turn tablet mode off, what we do is just simply swipe in from the right hand edge to bring out the action center and click on tablet mode. And if it's gray, then it's off. So if you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe for more Surface Pro tips.